Hello everybody, this is Chris and welcome back. In our last tutorial we created our registration uh, page, but there was a mistake I made and I didn't correct it, so we'll correct it now. When I create this is the login that blade at PHP and when I did this I neglected to make this plural to match up with our errors here, so add S that and save that. Now go if we go to the register that blade at PHP I neglected to change the URL to the register route. So we're just going to change that to register. And we're going to add an S to this since we copy and pasted. So save that. I also, in the master page, I added a well to the uh, unordered list class. So you have nav, nav list, and I made it a well. So it looks like this. You can see it here. So just put a little well over there so we can see it actually. I usually use wells when I'm doing sites just to show me the layout and stuff like that. So now let's go ahead and dive into this register function here. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. We're gonna grab all the input and throw it into a, a variable called input. So input equals input all. Next we'll have a set of rules that, so we can validate. So we're going to say rules equals an array. First one is going to be username. And we're going to have it be required. And it must be unique to the user's table. Because you don't want two or three people with the same username running around. Next we're going to take the email and we're going to make it required. We're also going to make it unique to the user's field. And we'll make it, it has to conform to an actual email address. So it has to have an at, it has to have like a dot com or dot net or whatever. Next we're going to have the password and we're just going to make it required. We could do password confirmation but I'm not going to do that right now. Next we're going to go ahead and make our validator. So V equals validator make. And we're going to pass in the data. It's going to be input. Rules is okay. We'll use that. We're not going to use messages or custom messages rather. And that's it. We could actually throw the rules into the model but we haven't created the model or the database yet but we soon will. Next we're going to say if the validator fails, or actually the validator passes, sorry, if V passes, doesn't matter, you could put V failed and just done it in reverse order, but I'm going to do it this way. If V passes, we're going to go ahead and create our new user. So, but first, we're going to take this password, actually we're going to grab it first, so password equals input, input password, and next we're going to hash it. So password equals hash make. And it's going to be password. And we don't need any options. We're not going to pass anything to it. Next we're going to create a new user object. So user equals new user. And we're going to start filling in the field. So username, user username equals input username user email equals input user uh, actually email and user password equals password Okay, last night makes we need to go ahead and save our new user. So, user save, that I'll put it in the database. And last but not least, we're going to return, redirect them to the login. Don't need that. To login route. Now, if it doesn't pass, 
going to say else. So if it doesn't pass, we're going to say return redirect to register. And we're going to say, this is something new for you guys. We're going to say with input. And you'll see what that does in a second. With input and with errors. This is what's going to return our errors. And we're going to retrieve those errors from the validator. And that's it. So we'll save that. Go ahead and see if we got any errors. We shouldn't. We'll hit the register. And now if we hit register, username field is required, the email field is required, the password field is required. So if I put in here falling down, now this may throw an error because we don't have a database set up or anything like that. So let's see. Falling down, register, and that's what it's going to do. So let's go ahead and set that database up now. We'll say control shift P, go to migrate, and migrate shown. Generate a migration, it's right here. Next we're gonna say create users table. And that's good. And we're gonna have username. Just type string email which is also type string and password which is type string okay looks good to me hit enter hit control shift p go back and run the migration so labor artists and migrate and there we go it migrated the table for us control plus the tilde key twice and we'll go back out and refresh the page and if i hit falling down and now I try to register. There we go. So it left that with input just returned us with the input that we already had. So now we returned with falling down. So that's cool. But we're missing the email field and the password field. So let's just fill in the email and see what happens to so you at u.com and register. Nope. Password field is required. And we click that and close it. And we can cancel, go back, log in, register, and here we go. So in the next tutorial we're going to go ahead and handle the login process. So stay tuned for that.